seen part one I will pop it up on the screen or post it down below but basically I decided to do a little two-part series in spring cleaning because one my apartment was in some desperate need of it and two I was just feeling inspired to kind of spruce up my place so with today being part two it's all about redecorating DIYs and cleaning so grab a mug take a seat this is gonna be, I'm really excited, this is gonna be a fun video. If you guys aren't following me already, I was posting little peeks and hints at all of the decor and stuff that I did for this video on my Instagram, I'll pop it on the screen. And I also posted a blog post on Friday that is a spring cleaning checklist and a bucket list for spring. I also included two playlists and the books I wanna read this spring. So definitely check out my blog too, I'll put it down below. If you guys didn't know already, my two main projects for this like redecorating, revamping video was one one, this room, I wanted to do the mantle and kind of create more of a zen slash yoga space in here since the office space is pretty much done as you guys can see. So I really wanted to like get a bunch of plants, get a little like yoga basket, stuff like that. The second project was the bigger one and it is my patio that leads off of my bedroom. I really wanted to create a space that I can sit outside, I can read my book, I can drink my coffee in the morning once it starts getting a little nicer out. So those are the projects that I was focusing on, along with I need to gist, and I had some DIYs that I wanted to do for the springtime. Since I feel like spring is such a fun time to get crafty, that's why I'm wearing overalls, I feel like these are also very spring. First things first, there were a couple DIYs that I wanted to do from planters to dream catchers to driftwood. If you guys wanna get paint all over your hands, and uh, do some fun spring DIYs with me, then let's just, you know, sweat to Driving in my car, just 
just chasing pavement static here with you Cause lonely nights and drunken fights just don't resolve like they used to are done there's um, a lot of stuff in my living room right now because of all the patio stuff that I bought let me give you guys a little look bags and planting stuff and just just basically things everywhere and a ladder so I'm just gonna you know pull up this patio chair and share with you guys a quick little mini haul I'm not gonna show you guys everything I bought but I want to show you guys some of the favorite things that I got for my patio first of all how like this pillow I already had two pillows for my patio but then I saw this one today and I just, I couldn't put it down. I'm gonna try and fit two pillows on one of these chairs. Everything I'm showing you guys right now is from HomeSense. I got this little Buddha for my outdoor patio slash. It's gonna be like a garden out there too. There's gonna be a whack ton of plants. I bought fake plants to show you guys kind of the before and after of what my patio is gonna look like, but it's still a little early to actually be planting things out there considering it snowed like two days ago. But once it starts getting nicer out, I'm gonna put so many plants. I wanna plant a garden. I wanna plant herbs and vegetables. So happy and zen in the midst of leaves and plants and things. I also, because I've been cooking and baking lately, I saw this at HomeSense and didn't even realize I needed it until I bought it. It's this little thing that says spoon. You put your spoon on there, as I'm sure you know, but it keeps your like counter from getting dirty. I also got a new French press. So the French press I've been using, I got it from Indigo a while ago and it was actually, I was using it for decor and I love it, but it's really, really small. And since I've been traveling a little bit and I have some travel coming up, I've been really enjoying bringing my French press with me to make like my coffee wherever I go. I I wanted to pick up a new one that was a bit bigger so I can make bigger cups of coffee because I don't, I don't play around when it comes to drinking coffee. And I liked it because it was like white. I found this candle and it looks like it's in like a crepe barrel and it says Chardonnay. <sighs> it smells so good. So I think I'm gonna put this in my office slash yoga space, even though like Chardonnay isn't very zen. Actually, Chardonnay is so zen, who are we kidding? Coming from the green grape variety and created from the influence of terrier and oak. Speaking of wine, this is another thing I found and I didn't realize I needed it until I saw it. I actually cracked open a bottle of wine last night and then realized that I didn't have anything to cork it with afterwards and then saw this today and it was on sale, not to mention, it's an amethyst, which is my birthstone, and it's just this little like wine stopper. So the other candle I got is this one here, and it's ambered musk, and again, it smells like, it just smells so like oaky. Oh, it smells so good. So I'm gonna put that one in, and it kind of goes nicely with this one, so I'm gonna put these on the mantle with all my plants in my office slash yoga room. And then, since I've been using literally like a pot that you bake pasta in, I don't have anything to boil water, so I finally picked up a kettle. I wanted to try and find a kettle, like in my staycation vlog. The kettle at one of the Airbnbs was baby pink, and it was so cute. And I looked everywhere, and I could not find one, so I picked this one up. But my elephant I also got this guy. Look at how cute he is. I, I'm hoping that putting this out is going to help the law of attraction of me, you know, going to Thailand and petting an elephant like we've already talked about because I just, I love elephants. They're so cute. I just thought he would look cute amongst all the plants. This was also on sale and I got it for outside. I'm gonna put this, it's like a marble or like a cement slab with cork. My table outside for like drinking coffee and things like that. I'm also gonna put a plant in the middle. Two more things that are kind of cool that I wanna show you guys. So this I found at the dollar store and it's the cutest thing ever and it's making me so excited to start gardening. House plant tools that I picked up from the dollar store. Epic find. And then these I'm really excited about. These are 
one of the two types of string lights that I'm going to be putting out on my patio. I found these at Michael's. They're little mini mason jar string lights and I just think those are going to look so cute out on the patio and create such a vibe. The vibe I'm kind of going for outside is like really cute and like spring and summerish, but also a little bit a little bit rustic. I got this too. It's silver and it's supposed to look like 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 um, the trunk of a tree. So it's kind of like a mixture of girly modern, but with a bit of rusticness, you feel? I don't know what vibe I'm kind of going for, but it's creating itself. So now with that said, I'll give you guys a quick before shot of what my patio looked like, and then speed up the process, do some cool B-roll, throw in some music, decorate the patio. Telephone, wondering if I'm all alone. Remember how we knew each other in ten years? Everyone's moved down the line, and we've all ended up fine. But I no longer know your number. I used to love you like the world would end. I used to love you like a child The thing about people is they change when they walk away You used to talk real slow About the things that no one knows I hate people Bring flowers Trapped in glass Their final hour And life rolls It's all so fast Until it slows We cry that night in Carver Realize we were letting go I used to love you Like the world would end I used to love you like a child Thing about people's they change when they walk away. have just been editing a video for most of the day, uploaded it, and then I just started baking my carrot cake. I finished off the rest of my mantle this morning. I headed to the store to pick up two new plants. I got Bo and Billy, who I will show you guys in the final tour of all the updates. And then I just put a carrot cake in the oven. I'm so excited. I don't know why, but I've just been like fiending carrot cake. I think it's because it's spring and spring makes me think of bunnies and bunnies make me think of carrots and carrot cake goes good dunked in coffee and so all of that just made so much sense to me. I'd be putting the recipe to the carrot cake on my blog on Friday so definitely check that out if you guys want to make it. It's a vegan carrot cake with a buttercream icing. I will give you guys some b-roll and updates when it's done. As for the rest of this afternoon, it's going on 5 p.m. Because it is a Sunday and it's a just day, I'm gonna order myself in some takeout. I'm going to do a quick Co's conference call with my sister and then I'm gonna to clean my apartment and pack up again because they're doing more construction in my apartment this week. This is actually the tear up portion of my apartment so unfortunately all of the spring cleaning and spring decorating I just did, I'm not going to be able to fully enjoy it until the end of this week. They're in my apartment from Monday to Friday. So I'm packing up and heading to my hometown for a few days. Because I have to pull everything out of all the cupboards and drawers, I'm going to finish with like organizing and labeling everything. If you guys want a video on that, I mean it's kind of lame, but let me know and I can, I can make this a three part series. But as for the decorations, I'm now going to give you guys a final like look slash tour of my garden, like my indoor zen space garden 
and my patio. Let's do it. This is what my mantle slash zen space looks like after. It's definitely not finished yet, but I feel like we got a very good start on the plant collection. Starting off the little mantle tour, I just have this this is from HomeSense. It's meant for, I think, like baked goods and stuff like that. And then on top, I just put my crystals. And then this cactus planter is from HomeSense. And inside, I have my, he's from, he's from the rainforest. Just says tropicals, but this is my, my one plant. He doesn't have a name yet. Um, and then I just have some fresh flowers. I have two candles, two more crystals. I picked this up from the rock store in Toronto. And then I picked this up at Happy Soul. I have my Buddha, my new DIY planter. I'm obsessed with how this turned out. I think it's so cute and so spring. This guy I got today, this is Bo, and he's just like in this little china mug. I love succulents. I've come to the conclusion that I feel very drawn to the succulents in terms of plants. And then this is just a little glass cactus I got from Chapters, and then all the flowers inside of that are fake. And this is where I ended up putting the Chardonnay candle. This is Billy, so Billy and Bo are brothers. I got them together. This candle I ended up putting here, the Amber Musk. We've got Ollie the elephant just chilling, telling us to come to Thailand. I have my orchid, which I just put ice cubes in, so I'm trying to regrow it. This cilantro kit, I'm going to start it after I get back since I'm gone all week. I want to make sure I'm here to tend to my little cilantro plant. And then I think eventually I might pop him in my mini garden with another herb, but for now in my mini garden, I just have these two little plants. My rose bush, and then this is a roeo. Roeo plant. Again, don't really know what I want to name these. I feel like this one, I kind of want to name it Indigo or Nova. And then this one, I don't know. I can't, I can't think of anything creative right now, so if you guys can name, think of a name for the little mini rose bush, pop it down below. Then I have these succulents that I got from Benefit for my birthday. And then this guy here. And then my really sad Tiki. This is Tiki the bonsai tree. and. We're trying to revive him back to life, but it's a work in progress. Then I just have my incense, my um, diffuser, and then the basket that I ended up picking up. For all my yoga stuff, I have my yoga mat, my yoga blanket, and the yoga strap that I use. And I also have my massage balls in here somewhere. So that's like a final look at what happened in this room and I'm so happy with how it turned out. Like especially when I pull out my yoga mat and do yoga and stuff. Tonight, I'm gonna take some string lights and string them all through here. But that's what we've got so far. And then in terms of showing you guys patio, also I'll show you guys the just like after shots in here too. This is where I ended up putting that DIY, which again, I love, but I'm also debating hanging it from a roof hook right here, undecided. We have a very, Sunday Bentley and I have all of my like hanging plants now don't mind my cupboards I'm in the middle of baking. I love the look of this from all angles in this apartment It's just it's so cute. I think this may have turned out my favorite out of everything I can't wait for it to be warm enough to go out and just like hang out there at nighttime If I have friends over I can have a glass of wine out there I can read my book out there in the mornings with coffee. It's just gonna be it's gonna be such a cute little Zen spot I'm definitely not done with my patio. I want to put a bunch more plants, especially in the front area, like when you first look out. Again, I feel like this is such a good start considering how much time and how cold it kind of still is out. And come May when it's a good time to start planting seeds and stuff, this is where I want to put like a little vegetable garden and all of that. But for now, this is the current situation we have going on in the patio. So I'm now going to finish off the carrot cake piece it together and take the last bit of photos for it for my blog, FaceTime my sister, and then I'm gonna clean this apartment, pack up, and get ready to leave tomorrow. So I definitely have some gisting to do tonight. I have a lot of laundry to do. I have to string the lights in here. And I have to clear out all of the cupboards so that they can get into the piping system. So I'm having a wild Sunday. Aside from that, I hope you guys enjoyed part two, the DIY slash redecorating portion of the spring cleaning series. If you guys want me to film and record the part three where I pull everything out of cupboards, label everything in the cupboards and my closets and stuff like that, then just let me know down below. I'm just not sure if like the spring cleaning, redoing, reorganizing thing is getting a little old for you guys now because I feel like a lot of my videos have been based around that. But if you want on it. I'm happy to do it. Other than that, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys all in my next video. Bye guys. Okay, we'll hang with Bo and Billy.